It's May 1st, 2024, and that means it's time to talk market stats. So I'm gonna give you the market update for April, and this is going to entail discussing what price sectors have fully shifted into a buyer's market, as well as at the end, I will uncover for you what communities in our area are completely shifted into a buyer's market. Now this is significant when you're navigating the shifting market because you need to understand where your direct location community price point is in that particular arena so that you can make decisions accordingly. I'll give some tips at the end as well for how to navigate um, um, when you're listing your home for sale and you're in one of these communities that has the highest inventory and um, is opportune for buyers so that you can understand how to set yourself apart and make your sale happen. But first, let's talk market stats. And before I get into that, I'm Ruth Squires with eXp Realty. RES Luxury Group, where we bring you white glove service, red carpet treatment, because your satisfaction is our guarantee. So as far as the market stats go for Citrus County, Florida, at the end of April, we landed at just short of 1,400 homes active in our local MLS. So active homes for sale, we were just under 1,400. A year ago, we were counting 879 homes at this time. So you can see that's a very significant increase. Um, Additionally, year over year, our median price has increased from 269.9 to 278. And our median sale price has gone up from 260 to 270. So currently in our area, we're looking at a median price point of 270,000. Also list to sales ratio increased year over year from 96% to 97%. So the great news is you're getting a better sale price even a year later after we came out of that robust market that we were in, we're still getting stronger sales numbers compared to 2023. So all good news, Um, the things to just be mindful of is our expired listings are much higher, which makes sense being that we have higher inventory, but we have 408 homes expired off the market in the last six months. And then 56 days on the market is our time period that we're tracking on average across the entire county and all of the homes for sale. And that's as compared to 49 days on on the market year over year. So not a huge change there, but we are continuing to see those numbers increasing. The other thing I want to mention is we've been talking about and, and anticipating this interest rate drop that we expect the feds to start making adjustments that'll bring mortgage rates down. And thus far, we have not seen that happen. So they continue to predict and just extend out the predictions that now by the end of summer into fall, we'll see some Um, improvement on mortgage rates and, and federal funds rates. So we hope that that will take place. That will certainly bring some more activity on the buy side because we'll have buyers that feel Um, more uh, affordable, that they can afford the homes based upon their mortgage uh, payments. But until that time, we have to continue to navigate uh, what we're dealing with here. So inventory levels continue to go up. So we have higher supply and we have less demand. So that means there's a lot of strategic things you need to be prepared to do. Before I get into that, let's talk about what What? sectors have actually fully shifted into the buyer's market. Now, buyer's market versus seller's market is represented by six months of inventory being a balanced market. Anything below that is sellers. Anything above that means it's a buyer's market. So when we look at that, we're seeing that the price sectors starting with 550,000 and up are now in a buyer's market. So they have more than six months of inventory on the market. So if you're in that price sector, you're gonna wanna be very strategic about how you're positioning your property and your plan to navigate the sale so that you aren't one that gets stuck on the market or expires off the market with that large group of expired listings that we have. Uh, Now, what about communities? Do we have communities that are fully shifted into a buyer's market? The answer to that is yes, and I wanna tell you what those communities are. Now, this is not a fully encompassing list, but certainly these communities I have looked at and identified that they are fully shifted into a buyer's market. The first one I'll tell you about is Crystal Oaks. Crystal Oaks is at eight months of inventory. Now, Crystal Oaks is a very small, intimate community. It's a wonderful place to live. It has a lot to offer. And I think the level of inventory and the 
shift into the buyer's market ahead of some of our other communities is because of the size and the volume that people stay in Crystal Oaks. There's not as much turnover. And so with a smaller community, less turnover, you're going to have that dynamic where the sales and the volume of purchasing are kind of balanced out and we have higher saturation for the market. Canterbury Lake Estates, similarly, eight months of inventory, very similar in that it's a smaller, more intimate community in Citrus Hills. And so it's not shocking that that would be the case. But I want to talk specific to Citrus Hills because the next two are also Citrus Hills communities. So Terra Vista is at 6.8 months of inventory and Belmont Hills is at six months of inventory. So right at that balanced market. Um, of course, we expect to see that continuing to increase, which means Belmont Hills will in short order be fully into the buyer's market territory. Now, why would we see Citrus Hills leading the way with this? I believe because Citrus Hills still has a developer doing a lot of developing within the different villages and areas. And so people are attracted to building the new homes and they often overlook the resales based upon that. So one of the things we have to get across to potential buyers that are looking at Citrus Hills is that there is a very, very distinct value buying a resale in Citrus Hills over building brand new. The cost to build is always going to be significantly higher, especially when you start customizing and putting all of your specific wants into the house. So you, you do want to balance that if you're looking at the economics of the purchase and you know trying to keep within a very specific budget. So certainly getting the message yeah, to down. people so that they understand the differences and how to make that decision is very important when it comes to communities like Citrus Hills that have developers that are actively involved. So what can you do if you are in a community or in a price point that is a buyer's market? Of course, when we're in buyer's market, the buyers are gonna be negotiating. It means, hey, we've got a lot more opportunity because if you want the house and there's so much inventory, you have the ability to get a lot more aggressive with the price you're offering, as well as the terms that you're looking for. And if a seller is very motivated to sell, they're gonna be more motivated to work with the buyer on that. So as a seller, what you wanna do is have a strategic pricing strategy. And with that, what that looks like is saying, well, we don't wanna sit on the market for nine months or you know anything like that, long periods like that. And so what we're gonna do is look at, well, here's the market value for the property. Do we want to price our house at market value or do we want to price in between? And I think you have to look at the competition to determine what that would be. Look at the active homes on the market that you're competing with. What are the quality? What, how do they, how do, does your house rank with those and how long have they been on the market and then position yourself accordingly. Addition to, additionally to that, you want to have a pricing strategy that says within a certain amount of time, if we're not getting the results we want, we're prepared to make a price improvement, as I call it, reduce the price. So we can get very strategic in the front of it saying this is what we're going to do to ensure that we get the sale in the time frame that we want and we don't just get grouped in with these other properties and overlooked. So that is just one small tip and that's something that you'll strategize with your agent to figure out what that right um, structure is for you. But you definitely need to be thinking about things like that in this type of market. So that's it for the market stats. I hope this has been helpful for you. We continue to monitor things very closely. Market is shifting. There's a lot of changes in our industry. If you're curious to talk about any of these things, if you'd like to know what your community looks like as far as inventory levels, please feel free to reach out. I'd be happy to discuss that with you. You can reach me and my team at 352-794-1426. Have a great day.